There is tons of thousands of websites on the World Wide Web, but how are we able to find everything on the web? To better understand how to find everything on the web, here is a good example, interesting example, uh, how to find everyone on Earth. You may have uh, some idea to do this, but for me, I will start it. I, I will start this from my mom. Let's draw my mom, and I will ask my mom a question. Mom, I want to find all the people you know. My mom would may would say, "What? Well, excuse me? Just kidding." Uh, imagine that I got no three hundred people, three hundred of people from my mom. And what we do next is to go and find those 300 people and ask them, ask them the same question. Uh, and let's see, every single one of them knows uh, more 300 people. So, so now I can know 90,000 of people now. If I continue to do this, I may get to know more and more and more people. Finally, it is possible to get to know everyone on Earth. Seems like a mission impossible, right? But yeah, I would not spend my whole life to do this. It's kind of stupid. Uh, but it's a, it is a really funny example to understand how uh, find everything on, on web. So I, uh, I need to introduce a program called Web, uh, web Crowder, yeah. It is, uh, let's draw, a little crowder spider. It's called web crowder, and a web crowder will browses the World Wide Web and the collect contents on the web. Let's see how it works. We need to start at at one starting point. It's a page, and it's my UB the Buffalo. Edu. And in this website, there's main contents such as some image, some words, and some links to other websites. So the web crowder will view this website and uh, find out all the links to other websites, other pages. And it will follow these uh, pages, follow the link to the pages. Uh, and in those new pages, there are more, there may be more uh, links to other pages, to more pages. So the web crawler will do the uh, same thing to follow the link to more new pages. But it is also possible that uh, in those pages, uh, there will, will be some links point to the same page like this. So the web crawler will not go to the same page which has already been discovered. So it will just go along to find uh, other links, find more pages. So if we do this over and over and over again, finally, it is possible for us to find all the links, all the, everything on the web. But in fact, it is also possible that we will meet a dead end uh, for example, if uh, the, all the links in these pages no longer point to a new page, so what, what are we going to do? It's pretty simple. Uh, imagine that uh, we want to find everything on Earth, and the numbers of people I know from my mom is limited. I can, find, I can ask my father, my sister, and my friends, right? I can not only start from my mom, and they may know more people from uh, them and mom do. Uh, so then, the same is pretty much similar to that. Uh, web crowder can start from several pages, which is start point, starting point, uh, such as YouTube, network, some other Amazon things, yeah. and do the same thing. Find all the uh, links in this page and follow the links to more pages. Do this over and over again. And maybe some more pages to do that.
that over again. In this way, the, it is more possible for us to find every page on the web. So that's pretty much the, every, uh, the general idea how we find everything for web.